This was a bit of a different chair. It's a lightweight utility chair. Article says it's assembled with simple notched joints. Again, very small diagram. This is John Walsh's 2013 Logitrace CNC DXF software and drawing table. Here I've got the diagram taped down to the drawing board. I'm showing here how you define the four corners. This defines your work area. Here it shows on the software package the four corners being defined. This was the back support. It was 8th inch thick. It was kind of a difficult thing to cut out the CNC machine because it's so thin. I was having a hard time creating tabs. I probably would have been better off to use an 8th inch end mill instead of a quarter inch end mill. But it held together and cut out just fine. I use the combination setting here which gives me lines, arcs, and tracing. I find that that suited this project quite well. Didn't take very long to trace this out. And I always talk about saving your work. I save my work frequently and then if I mess something up I just go back and edit that section and redo it. plan talks about and shows the simple notch joints. These are joints that the two three quarter inch sheets fit together. I verified those fittings in the edit program. I wanted a nice tight fit. The next tracing out is the spine and it's got three simple notched joints. Again I always mention the cordless pen. I like the cordless pen. It really gives me flexibility to move around and get the best trace and also see what I'm tracing. Also forgot to mention that I always mark with a red pencil on the diagram where I start so when I come close to that I don't have an overlapping vector. I stop about a half inch before my red mark. John's software package fills that half inch gap in automatically when you say you're done. Here on these back supports not only did I mark the red where I started but I also marked those uh, notch joints just to remind me to check them. Again, save your file frequently, or files. Here I put all the parts into a node edit program. I checked all the vector qualities, make sure they're all closed, and I did those uh, notch joint checks. Here I've arranged all the parts, I've nested them to get the best cut out of the smallest part of that 4x8 sheet. I also run the program simulator. It shows me how the parts are all cut out. Make sure that there's nothing overlapping. Now we're ready for the CNC cut. As I've shown here, I'm cutting about 70 inches per minute, which isn't really fast. I'm using a quarter inch end mill and about 19,000 RPM on the router. I've got an eighth inch skin board underneath that uh, three quarter inch plywood so my cuts are 0.79 deep. The plywood's 0.75. So it cuts right through but doesn't damage my slave board. Also I have the quarter by quarter tabs to keep the parts in place. I don't want any parts flying out and causing any damage. And it can cause damage. You can get caught up in the cutter and ruin your cut. It didn't take very long to do the cut. 
This is how the sheet looked after the cut. Well, the chair is done, sanded, finished. I've got one coat of finish on it. Looks good. It actually feels good to sit on it. It's really, really light. I guess that's why the article calls it a lightweight utility chair.